So this is the model of the X-59. It's uh, designed to generate a low sonic boom. And so what you see here is the shape of the aircraft, which has been designed specifically for a low boom. And uh, starting at the nose, you'll notice the nose is very long and skinny. And it, actually, the whole aircraft is very long and skinny. And the purpose of that is to really stretch these shock waves out to, to prevent the shock waves from merging into very strong shocks that you'd have on a traditional aircraft. Uh, the idea here is to manage the whole volume and lift distribution to uh, prevent the shocks from merging into these strong uh, merged shock waves. And so starting out with a long skinny nose, it kind of stretches that out. And then you'll notice all the lifting surfaces. So we have canards here in front of the cockpit. We've got the wing. We've got the horizontal tail. And also a T-tail here on the top of the vertical tail. And all these are different lifting surfaces. So we can manage the lift distribution to reduce the sh uh, sonic boom as well. Uh, another feature of this aircraft is the, uh, notice the cockpit is kind of embedded down in the aircraft. And so when we talk about our synthetic vision system, uh, we have a camera out here that provides the uh, video inputs into a screen in the cockpit to provide the pilot the forward vision that he needs. Uh, the inlet, you'll notice the inlet is on top of the aircraft. A lot of aircraft have the inlets underneath the wings, but on this one we put it on the top. And so that again keeps the shock waves kind of off, off the top and not going down and impacting the ground. If you've heard a, a sonic boom from a fighter aircraft or uh, any type of other supersonic aircraft, it's generally a fairly uh, an ex sort of a loud crack, almost like an explosive event. It definitely can startle you if you're not prepared for it. It's like a boom going off, literally. And if this aircraft um, is designed to generate a very soft thump instead of a boom, uh, it may be similar to maybe a, someone shutting their car door next door. Um, so we're really looking to bring this boom down to a level that it's uh, not going to be annoying for sure, possibly just in the background noise. If you're in an urban environment, you may not even notice this boom.